this intro is gonna be long. So before I get into the song itself, I have a lot to say about Israel's participation at Eurovision this year, just generally speaking. So let's dive into this beast. I've seen a lot of content creators make reaction videos to Israel's song and that a very small subset of the Eurovision fandom, vocal and loud subset, have accused those content creators of being complicit in genocide, have abused them and then have subsequently forced these creators to take their videos down and I won't be that person. Because we need to make something abundantly clear. Reacting to a song in a music competition should absolutely under no circumstances be conflated with supporting the actions of that country's government. One last thing to say about those people who are saying that reacting to a song is being complicit, blah blah blah. On TikTok last week, it was a very viral thing to react to Kim Jong-un's propagandist song that was exploding on the internet. No one accuses those folks of politically aligning with that dictator because that kind of leap in judgment is asinine and it's just being intellectually dishonest. I'll say I don't understand how the song was actually allowed in the competition still. Israel had to rewrite this song multiple times because it was initially deemed to be too political because it was initially called October Rain. But Belarus was kicked out of Eurovision after just one revision of their song a couple of years ago which was also deemed to be too political so I'm not too sure why Belarus got one chance when Israel somehow managed to get multiple. The same rules should apply to all countries, plain and simple. We can all get on board with that. Anyway, free the hostages, ceasefire now. We should be able to say both of those things. It should not be controversial whatsoever. And yeah, that's my rant, but I just, I had to get that off my chest. So now let's react to Israel's entry. Very, very dramatic start. Um, it's very visually arresting too. It grabs your attention, that's for sure. Now, you could already see some fog come up, and I don't know how I feel about that decision because I am so paranoid that someone's gonna run on stage, and if they do, it might not be visible. This girl also, I mean, you could hear things happening in the crowd, and there was an interview that she did where she basically said she's gonna be completely unfazed about whatever happens, she's prepared for anything, and honestly, she's risking her life. She's freaking braver than I could ever be. This is stunning. I absolutely love this visual right now. Her voice is beyond. Probably one of the top three voices in the competition this year and she's one of few artists where the live sounds better than the studio. Oh, they're not punching the air anymore. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That made me so mad. There was a part in the rehearsals where they were punching the air and it completely detached me from the emotion of this song. They're not doing that anymore, thank God. Yeah, the choreo is a lot stronger. I don't know who does Israel's choreo every single year, but they always have extremely unique choreo. Very, very, very effective. Now this LED visual, also extremely incredible too. It very much perfectly encapsulates the message of the song, the song title. LED floor is doing the same thing and it's just, it's, it's a feast for the eyes. The dress looks a little bit like a toilet paper dress, but it's still stunning. This girl can hit any note. She sings flawlessly with so much ease because it looks like she's not struggling whatsoever. And I also like how the LED goes from the pretty blues and whites into this hopeful orange light as well. I mean, you could hear the chanting in the crowd and what's astounding to me is that she just looks so unfazed by this. Like I would be crying on stage for the whole three minutes. So firstly, let's get into the choreo. I am so happy that they got rid of that stupid move where they're punching the air in the rehearsals because that was just not doing it for me at all. They listen to feedback and I'm so happy when countries do this. And we even saw this with Albania's performance, which just happened as well, where a lot of people weren't so happy about her costume during the rehearsals. I liked it, I didn't think it was bad, but they listened and they changed it. And you know what? It was a smart decision because ultimately I like her costume right now too more than um, what it was. It's worth noting that I don't know how this is gonna do in the juries. That is a complete unknown if this ends up making it to the final. And we don't know yet because the performance is still happening. But what I will say is I think it very much, oh, hi mister. But yeah, what I will say is I think um, this is a performance that traditionally would very much appeal to the juries. Her voice, as I mentioned during the performance is easily one of the best um, in this competition this year. And yeah, there's not really much to say aside from the fact that it's a stunning girl and a stunning toilet paper dress with a stunning song, with stunning staging, with stunning choreo, with stunning, 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 stunning. I think any other year if Israel was taking part in the competition with this song, there would be a more unanimous widespread consensus that it's a very solid entry. But right now we're seeing 50% of people saying it's the worst thing they've ever heard at Eurovision on a stage, which is a lie. And then there's 50% of people who are saying it's the best song that's ever been on the Eurovision stage, and that's also a lie. And I think that's more of a reflection of political attitudes towards what's happening right now in the world. But I'll say, is it the best? Is it the worst? No. It's very solid. 
Um, and I think um, she should be extremely proud of herself. Anyways, those are my thoughts about Israel's entry at Eurovision this year. Is it my first place? No. Is it in my top five? Maybe. Is it in my top 10? Absolutely. So yeah, those are my thoughts about this entry and Israel's participation at Eurovision this year. Anyways, ceasefire now, release the hostages. And yeah, I hope for nothing more than for this crisis to end. And there's really nothing more to say. Bye for now.